part five of our mini paper bag journal. I've went through um, and kind of just flagged places that I, I want to add some things throughout the journal. And I have gone ahead, guys, and did a few things in advance um, just to try to speed things up a little bit so that we can get this journal completed. So let me just get started. Um, it's coming along really nicely. So what I decided here on this little page, let me get my clips ready. Um, on this little page, I thought it would be nice to go ahead and add another little flap. And you can see I've just stitched on two tiny little pockets there. Um, so I've made a little hinge. And I'm just going to add that um, to this page. And we are going to fill this out. And this little project is going to be done. So I've cut out these little tiny journal cards. I think those would look nice. They got the little bumblebees on them. And that adds a little bit of color to that, so I like that. And the same thing with this one. Um, Is I went ahead just to extend that page and give a little bit more writing. I've done the same thing here. I didn't add any pockets to this one though, just purely a another little flip over for us. So we're finally getting a little bit of rain here. Um, we've had uh, <laughs> like a record drought for the month of May. And I think pretty much the next week we're supposed to see rain, which is such a nice um, break from just uh, dry <coughs> sunshine. I've enjoyed the sunshine, but then... I don't like anything that stays permanent. I, I like change, guys, so particularly with the weather, I, I get really bored. Okay, so I'm just moving on through where I've got places marked. Here, I took two little journal cards and uh, made a little hinge, and so that's a little pocket where we can add... Um, we can add something to that. I'm just going to glue that down there so that will flip over. I'll have it up here. So yeah, I'll need to I'll need to get something to put in that little pocket. We've got that flip. And then here, what I've done for this little pocket is just taken a, um, I had a leftover bit of index card and I've just stitched another little banner piece and tucked that little journal card there. I think that looks really pretty for that pocket there. And then on this side, um, these are some of the tiny little tickets that you can get with the My Porch prints. And I'm going to just glue that there as a little tuck spot. I think that'll be really cute.
and this is just an extra bit of um, tea dyed paper. And I've done a little stamp there. I'm just going to tuck that in there. And then we'll go back through when we get everything where I want it. Now these images, this one here, I think this was just a search on online if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that was just something I came across and printed out. So I'm just going to make a little tuck spot in the corner on this one. And then we can come back and add something to that. And uh, I believe it was the same thing with this image. I'm pretty sure that was just off the internet somewhere. I'm just going to make a little pocket out of that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, and again, I've went ahead for time's sake and done these little, this is Liberty Fabric, Liberty London Fabric. I love their fabrics. Um, and so I've made a couple of little um, ruffles. Now, if you don't know how to make these, on my YouTube channel there is a tutorial. If you go in the playlist, I've got a tutorial playlist, and there's a ruffles um, video. If you're, you know, if you're not sure about how make how to make those. Okay, so now I need to decide. I've got five of them, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is one here. I think, uh, particularly that yellow is going to be pretty. I'm going to put it there. So now I'm going to go to the back here and place one on this page. Do one that's got a little bit of color here. And then I come back to the front. I think I'll put one on this this little page here. Okay, I'm just going to put one at the bottom of that. I think that'll be pretty on that. So I'm going to do a little tag for that. And now I've got one more. And I think I'm going to put it here. Actually, I'll put it on this page. This is a bit plain, so I'll put it over here. Okay. So the other thing, I thought in the center it would be kind of nice to have a little bee charm. Because this one's pretty. 
pretty flat so that won't get in the way. And I'm just going to tie those strings together so that it's just one hanging down. Okay, so we've got that finished off. All right, so now, let me see, I was thinking it would be nice to have a couple of little tabs here and there. So this is a good page for one. And I have these tiny little B images, so I'm just going to place... I'm going to place one here. And then find a place in the back here that I think still got to add a couple of things there. I think on this little page, he kind of needs needs a little something, so put him up there. Start over at the beginning. So we know we've got that. It flips over. We'll add another little little journal card there. Okay, let me get a tag cut for that one, and then this little journal card I can tuck in there. I've got a couple little tickets here, I'm just going to place those in there. Okay, so I want to get a little tag in this one, and that's in a very big place. Uh, I'm going to see if this tag will work. Perfect. Okay, let me just ink that up a bit.
So I've got this little honeycomb uh, stamp. I'm just going <coughs> to stamp that on there. So you can see it's a really, really light. I don't know if you guys can see that. That one says, I just love being the queen bee. <laughs> it's really sweet. And let me see. I got, a, I got another little bee here. It's been a while since I've used him. Oh shoot. Oh well. Oh well. These things happen. Let's see, I've got a little, I think I've got a little word I can use to cover that up. Yeah, it's just a little bit of fabric that I've stamped on. I'll just add that there, and that'll uh, cover that boo-boo up. It happens. Okay, now let me get a little bit of um, seam binding. Okay, so fingers crossed, it'll all fit in there okay. Yep, that's fine. So let me see if there's any place else that we need to add anything. to seep through that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. I think that's that's got enough interesting things added to it without um, filling it all up because um, Whoever has, oh yeah, I need something for that. There we go. Okay. Let me get one more journal card here. Gosh, you can see I've got a load of. <laughs> I've got so many things printed out. Um, I 
I like that image. That's such a pretty image. Let me just cut that out quickly. And I think that'll look nice there if it's not too big. Well, actually, it might be too big for that. Yes, it will be. Okay guys, I think we are going to call that complete. We've got the pocket here, pocket here, that pocket, and then the little flip out here on the front. We've got, so there's quite a bit in this little little journal, there's, and it's ended up filling it out really nicely, I think, because I wouldn't want it to be too too packed. Now what I'm going to do is, now that we've got it done, I'm just going to leave a, enough extra sorry in case um, the person that gets this wants to add quite a bit more. Got the little pocket on the back. Yep, I think that's come out really sweet. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I, as I said before, if you make one of these, um, be sure and tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I still haven't figured out um, how to add it to um, the patron site, and I will keep looking into it. I'm still kind of learning my way around as well. So, um, But in the meantime, just tag me on Instagram or Facebook, and uh, I would absolutely love to see what you guys get up to. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll be back very soon with some new projects. Bye!